Now, a senior U.S. diplomat has reiterated that Washington will continue to maintain tough sanctions on North Korea and has expressed concerns over the regime's repeated missile launches. The official says the U.S. will consult closely with its partners and allies in the Asia-Pacific when it comes to the issue of deploying intermediate-range missiles throughout this region. Kim Yo-sun has this report. U.S. State Department Undersecretary for Arms Control and International Security Affairs Andrea Thompson has reaffirmed Washington will continue to apply international sanctions on North Korea. Thompson, who was visiting New Zealand, held a conference call with reporters on Tuesday in which she expressed U.S. concerns about the North's continued missile launches. This is in contrast to President Trump's response to the regime's five rounds of weapons tests since July 25th. He brushed them off as, quote, very standard. Thompson also emphasized that Washington will keep working with its partners and allies as it continues to enforce U.N. Security Council resolutions. She also said the Trump administration will stay engaged with the regime, adding she is confident working-level discussions will resume soon. On the issue of deploying intermediate-range missiles to Asia, Thompson said the decision will be made jointly with U.S. allies in the region. She stressed that such a decision will never be made unilaterally by Washington. She also said any missile deployment would be for defensive purposes, despite China's fierce opposition. The U.S. has said it plans to deploy such weapons in the Asia-Pacific following its withdrawal from the Intermediate-Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, a move Beijing has vowed to respond to. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.